Hello everybody, and here we are, ready to get going on the new dynasty that I've been promising for a while. Took a little bit longer to get this all set up and put together, but here we are, and uh, I didn't really care about the coach name, but I thought I'd name him after my favorite coach of all time, and one of the greatest, Tom Osborne. Um, he is my favorite coach ever. Um, and yeah, so obviously if you know a lot or anything about Nebraska history, you know their greatest days were during Tom Osborne's career. And uh, we're going to look at the conferences that I've done. I did a lot of rearranging, um, and you'll see why here. For instance, I put Missouri and Texas A&M back into the Big 12 uh, because I wanted to have kind of a more even landscape of conferences and keep it at 12 teams as the maximum for any conference. Um, you know, the Big East, where a lot of big changes were made. Um, certain things, like Maryland and Rutgers, won't be going to the Big Ten. I wanted to kind of just do my own thing here, so I hope you guys can uh, understand and appreciate um, what I've done. I mean, it doesn't impact the Dynasty as a whole so much. It just kind of makes things a little, more, little bit more interesting. Um, here in the Conference USA is just a 10 team conference now those teams right there Notre Dame is the only independent um, unfortunately you can't completely remove anything I'd like to just get rid of independence and put Notre Dame somewhere else but here the Mountain West you'll see there's a North and South division and there are two teams that probably don't look familiar North Dakota and Montana and I have replaced Idaho and New Mexico State who were both in the WAC, and I moved them to the Mountain West. Um, so there you go. And Utah also, out of the Pac-12, I put them in the Mountain West, and BYU coming out of an independent spot. So this is going to be a very interesting conference, and I think it makes sense geographically um, as well. I tried to do that. I tried to make it so that it's, it geographically makes sense. That's how I re rearrange these conferences, because... Some, things, some teams in some conferences just don't even make any sense. Um, and there you go. There's the WAC. A lot of Texas teams, New Mexico, and California team, and Utah team. But anyway, um, the WAC is probably the most kind of random conference. And I turned coach contracts off because I want to stick with this team. I don't want to have to worry about meeting goals because I know this it's a, a very low rated team and it's going to be an uphill battle and achieving goals is not going to be easy as you can see here one star overall 61 and we're going to be yes North Dakota which is the University of North Dakota is where I live here um, so it I do have a connection with it and they're actually an FCS school, so they're Division One, but in football they play in the FCS, not the FBS. But we are going to be transitioning to the FCS along with Montana. Um, they'll be kind of our rival that we play every year, uh, although they're in the same division. So uh, here you can get a quick look at our depth chart as we go through redshirting some players. Marcus Hen Hendrickson will be our starting quarterback. Mitch Sutton and Jake Miller will be kind of our two back tandem maybe throwing bad sparks a little bit uh, Greg Harden is our best player and I have to say this dude is a fantastically talented receiver he is ridiculously good um, so we'll talk about him later on because he is a really really good player um, you, know, you can just get a quick look again well as the season goes on and as we play some games you'll we'll get to know the roster a little bit better you'll get to you know, know these players. You know, it's it's easy to kind of look at a depth chart, but when we actually get into the action, and get playing, uh, it'll it'll be a lot more fun and interesting. Um, and so yeah, I mean, most people probably know North Dakota for its hockey team. Um, and I have to say. I wish I could take all of you to a hockey game here. It's it's fantastic. It's the best atmosphere I've ever been in. And it's the nicest. This arena is nicer than pretty much any NHL arena. It's it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It is unbelievable. 
Um, and the atmosphere is just incredible. And uh, if I could take you guys all to a game, that would be great. But probably not going to happen because getting tickets is hard and expensive. But when you say North Dakota, I usually think at least the university, uh, usually hockey is the first thing. But we're going to change that mentality. We are going to move into the FPS and try and become something and become successful. It's going to be tough in our first season, though. Uh, and I scheduled our first game every year. I'm willing to schedule Minnesota because they are the big rival. Um, and again, if you know anything about college hockey, Minnesota and North Dakota is about as hot, as heated, and as crazy of a rivalry as you're going to get. So I decided to try and start that in football as well. So it should be interesting. Uh, here we go. So I'm going to I'm gonna try and leave the hockey out of this from this point forward, but it's hard to not talk about it when it's such a prominent thing. But uh, here we're kind of just messing around with the schedule. Um, we'll get it completely sorted out here in a few seconds, but... I'm really excited to get this started. I had actually planned to do using this team, and I'm going to refer to them from this point forward usually as just UND. It's a lot easier, and it's how we usually refer to them anyway. Um, I was planning on doing them in NCAA 14, but I thought I might as well just do this now, and then maybe like NCAA 14 I'll have you guys vote or something on a team to use. So here's our schedule at Minnesota, at Hawaii, at Air Force, Home against Kansas at San Diego State. Home against Boise State, Colorado State, UNLV, and Utah. Excuse me. At Montana, at Wyoming, a bye week. And then home against Central Michigan. And uh, conference championship if for some reason we are actually kind of good, which I don't foresee happening. But um, because there are 12 teams in the conference, we will have a conference championship game. And uh, just so you know, I, I did tweak all the rules as well for the conferences to have the home conferences that have conference championship, the home team will get the advantage in that game. So here we go. And so we begin our journey into the FBS and the Mountain West Conference, along with our neighbor to the west, Montana. We're looking to make some waves in the top level of college football. This team doesn't just re represent a university of 14,000 or a community of 60,000. It represents a state of 600,000, and they're looking to make a name for themselves here in NCAA Football 13. Please join us on this journey as we take North Dakota into the annals of history. <laughs> 